Okay, so for this lecture, I'll be demonstrating how to uh, make use of nested loops, so ne uh, particularly nested for loops. So I will be creating some sort of a multiplication table, but maybe with a little interaction with the user. So let's now start. So first, I'm going to create the project. So Java with Ant, Java application. So I'll just click next. So I'm going to call this as uh, my multiplication table here also. I'm going to use the multiplication table as my class name and then I'll just click finish. So I have here now my main program. So where's my project? That's my project multiplication table. So I'll just right click to add a GUI form. So J frame form. I'm going to call this my multiplication table UI, my user interface. Then I'll just click finish. So I have for now my multiplication table. Uh, let's say I'm going to place a panel. And then I'm going to place borders. My panel titled border. So multiplication, uh, sorry for the spelling. So there's my panel. I'm going to place a label below. So sorry for the spelling. Dimension. So I'm going to enter the dimension. Uh, let's make it quite a little bigger then i'm going to place here a text field also with a size of 14. And then I'm going to change the variable name to uh, text box dimension. And then I'm going to place a button, maybe beside this one, the variable name uh, button go. That's my variable name. properties so let's say go so that's that's my I have here a label a text box and a button and below we're going to place a text area I would like to place borders on my text area. Do I have border here? Yeah, border. I would like to place a line border. And I would like to change the thickness to two. Okay, so that's my border. And I would like to place a button below here. That will be my close button. Mm. 
Where's my Dex property? So there's that's my close button. I, uh, be before that, I would like to change also the font for my text area so that I'll be using a monospace font. So I'm going to use consolas and maybe with a size of 14 also. Okay. So first, I'm going to write my code for my close button. So I did not change the name property. So this that dispose. So that will close my form. So back to design. Now the go button. So I did not change this one. This is J text area. So this is J text area one. That's the name of this uh, unit. But this one is PB dimension, and this one is BT and go. Okay, so that's my button. First, I'm going to declare the variables. So I row and I column will be my uh, controlling variable for my loop. So I row will be representing the rows of my table and I column will be the representing the columns of my table. And so let's say will be the product of row and column. Because in a multiplication table, if you're going to observe multi the multiplication table, the values inside is just actually the product of the row and the column. Let's say, for example, in the first row and first column, so that's 1 times 1, so what is inside there is 1 also. On the fourth row, so that's 4, and the third column, so on the fourth row and the third column, the number inside is actually 12. So the numbers inside is actually the product of the row and column. So now let's get the dimension. The dimension will be coming from the text box. So we have PB dimension that get text so we get whatever is inside the text box the text property and then we convert that into an integer using integer that parse in and that will be the dimension of the uh, dimension of the multiplication table and then first if we want to generate the output uh, we first generate it inside the string and then assign that to our JTEX area. So if we set the text area to blank, then uh, it will become a blank or a, that will clear the text area. So this will be my outer loop. You notice I'm going to loop from one 
and while it is lesser or equal. So that means from 1 up to the value of my dimension. So if I place 10, that would be from 1 to 10. And each loop, I increase my row by 1. And then inside this loop is another loop. That's why, as I've said, this is a nested loop. So the same, the column will be from 1 up to the dimension. So the column will also be from 1 up to the dimension. And then what we're going to do here now is to add each output, or let's first get the product. So I product is equal to I row multiplied by I column. So we multiply the row and the column. And then we now join this, or we just append this to the, our text. So is there is called str plus then the text. So let's say string dot format percent let's say uh, 5d. So be sure that our dimensions will not exceed that of 10 thousands. So 5d and then I have here now I you may adjust 5D here later, okay? So after one row, we go to the next row in our output. So we also add a backslash N after the row. So this is my row. After one row, I should place a backslash N. And then I'll go to the next row again, I'll write the columns for the next row. And after this, So I have here J text area one dot a pen and then here is string str. So that will be my output. So let's have a review. So I have here the row column and the product, which will be the product of row and column. Then the mention will be coming from my text box. And we have strings. First we clear, then we loop for the row, loop for the column. The column is inside the row, so it will be from one up to the dimension, one up to the dimension. As I've said, a multiplication table, the values inside are just product of the row and the column. So we multiply the column and then that is what we join our string. And then here. So after each one row, that is displaying all the columns in one row, we go to the next row. So for our display, we have to place box last. Then let's go back to our main program. So in our main program, we have to instantiate our form. So our class name for our form is multiplication table UI F. That's my form. That's my constructor. So I hope I have the correct. Oh no, I I mess misspelled. So it's instead of table, it's tabale. So I'm going to use tabale here. So sorry for the misspelled, misspelled class name. Multiplication. So multiplication tabale. You are What did I misspell here? Multiplication tabale UI. So let's check. Do we still have? Let me first clean and build. Wrong spelling. 
Sorry. So we ran the program. So here's my form. Let's say, for example, I place here 10, go. So I have here a 10 by 10 multiplication table. I place here 15. Place here go. So I have a 15 by 15 multiplication table. So if I click on close, that will close my form. So let's take a look again at the code. So again, these are my row, the dimension, str, clear the text box, do the multiplication, add to the string, and then append the string here. So again, this one is for the, uh, so that it will go to the next row in our output. So that's all for today. Thank you very much for viewing this demo.